spoilers ahead, watch out and take care. The Good Doctor begins with a recap of the last episode when Dr. Andrew fired Dr. Han at the board meeting and is in Sean's support. Sean asks Carly on a date and she agrees and Sean seems very happy. Sean is seated in a cafe with Carly who reassures him that everything is okay. He hastily checks at his cue card for subjects to speak about and mentions seeing a terrific movie lately. When their lunch arrives, he becomes agitated and rises up knocking down the waiter and throwing the wine bottle into the air. As Dr. Lim goes in, Wondering whether they have work to do, she is instead praised for being their first female chief of surgery. She prevents Melendez from going to work by kissing him and telling him they need to go to HR and end their relationship. As a groom lifts his bride out of the vehicle and motions for someone to assist her, a limo drives up to the ambulance bay. She is led inside the ED by Sean and Claire. In the meantime, Alex and Morgan are treating a couple who have been married for 45 years. The husband has a history of kidney stones, but they are going to do imaging to rule that out. As they leave the room, Morgan informs Alex that he has dementia and that the best case scenario is that he has a kidney tumor since they have already helped treat eight of them in the previous week. Informing her that the case is hers, Alex hands her the chart. Lim and Melendez meet with Jenny Waring from HR, who doubts the authenticity of their breakup and whether they just resumed secretly seeing each other because of her promotion. She ultimately accepts their explanation, but she doesn't believe it and wants to stop them, claiming that love does not conquer all and that it will be more complex than they imagine. Sean and Claire notify their patient, the new wife, that she has a huge uterine fibroid that is bled and will need to be medically removed, but it will not prevent her from having children. Dr. Lim proposes various modifications to the nursing and surgical personnel, which Allegra Aoki would never accept, such as overtime. Morgan and Alex disagree over who will take the lead on Harvey's kidney case as a result of her shift in circumstances. Harvey is on the CT scanner when Morgan joyfully learns that Harvey has cancer rather than a stone, which is ideal for a resident. When Claire asks Sean about his date, Melendez is with him for the uterine operation. He orders them to stop what they are doing and check, and while doing so, he notices significant cancer in Claire's kidney, liver, and abdominal wall. Melendez reaches in and orders Sean and Claire to enclose her. When Allegra discovers Glassman in the backyard reading a book, he is joking that he will also like lounging around with his future bride. He will continue to live a purposeful life after cancer just as he did before, she believes, and she has a position open at the hospital. He claims that she is highly motivating to him. Sean and Claire sat with Melendez as they examined the scans, feeling that there isn't a better option for their patient and that they should be referred to an oncologist even if chemotherapy could be helpful. He instructs Sean to inform the bride that she is likely dying since he believes that because they are in their third year, they need to understand things via compassionate communication. When Harvey's wife asks questions, Morgan and Alex approach Nurse Petringa to ask who she delivered the chart to first. They are cut off when they learn that Harvey has cancer, although it is very treatable. Harvey worries that he can't pass away because his wife and kids depend on him, but Morgan assures him that the prognosis is favorable thanks to surgery and radiation. Sean resolves to conduct further study before alerting the patient, but Claire believes holding off would just make the situation worse. She believes he is self-conscious about his date and is unable to manage it. He manages to grab the bottle of wine in his hand, dazzling Carly, but he informs Claire that her phone is ringing, which she argues can wait even though it is her mother, questioning if stalling is bad, why is she ignoring her mother? She admits that her mother was bipolar, but she was a terrible mother and she does not believe she should be in Claire's life. Claire confesses that Sean is a role model in her life in certain ways. She insists on the date, claiming that the past is important since it happened. Sean states that he delivered a joke because Leah Delayo instructed him to, but there comes a flashback in which Leah expressly tells him that is not what she said. She claims that everyone has talents and flaws and that individuals must know when to deliver jokes. We return to the date where Carly is discussing school and life at home with her father when Sean makes a joke. Carly smirks and chuckles a little while sipping her wine. Sean isn't sure if she laughed, but she told Claire she did. It was a giggle, and he considers it a disaster. Claire is certain that something greater went wrong, but Sean refuses to yield and returns to his investigation. After seeing the video, Morgan and Alex conclude that Alex is the one with the chart, but she argues she had it first, and they want to see additional perspectives. Lim apologizes for not having the funds for extra employees when Nurse Petringa brings up the financing concerns, which immediately creates a tense situation. Melendez notes how sweetly the newlyweds are acting while holding hands. The groom wonders if everything is good because they didn't finish the procedure when he locates Sean and commands him to accompany him to the room. Melendez is irritated by Sean's remark to Suzanne that she has major surgery across her abdomen and it looks to be surrounding every organ, but there is hope with surgery. 
Sean advises removing Suzanne's organs and reintroducing them when the cancer has been removed. He realizes there hasn't been much success, but the alternative is death. Lim visits Dr. Andrews at his house and asks him how to say no to someone since she believes she is doing it incorrectly. He orders her to keep an eye on her and slams the door in her face. She starts down the steps, but he reopens the door, telling her that if she's going to give up so easy, she might as well stop now. Morgan comes to Harvey's room. A biopsy confirms the malignancy, which agitates Harvey and his dementia, and who insists they must inform the children. He has been told that his cancer is terminal, but he wants to know whether he is dying. Outside, Alex requests to speak to Harvey's wife, Ruby. The issue, according to Lim, is how she says no to people. He finds it amusing that she wants to accomplish the work her way while being the person she is. She was an attending yesterday, and now she is the chief, which makes her ponder. Alex outlines the possibilities to Ruby, stating that her spouse is not psychologically healthy. She tells him that she will not allow her husband to die just so she may repeat a discussion, and she tells Alex to go to hell. Sean describes the potential risks, which might include death, as Melendez explains to Suzanne the intricacy of her procedure. She may only live for a year without the procedure, and her chances of survival are barely 25%. They definitely approve her request for some time to consider it. Glassman informs Sean they will be late for lunch because he needs purpose in his life when he sees him at Stevens Creek Health Center. He has a patient on the go who Sean describes as uninteresting and having boring symptoms. Glassman recommends Sean to Marco, a mechanic, adding that getting to know people improves one's character. Sean went on a date last night and Glassman informs Marco that they both want to know about it. It was a disaster. Sean informs them both. He opened the door, knocking a woman to the ground, prompting Carly to help her up. He almost dragged the chair out from beneath Carly. Sean questions whether Marco has diabetes because of the discoloration of his neck's skin, but they already know this based on his chart. Sean then mentions neurotherapy, so Marco takes off his boots, and Sean corrects himself by saying that this case is anything but dull because his foot is cut open and covered in maggots. While assisting with the pickle jar, Morgan and Alex in the hospital kitchen are attempting to make amends with her. He believes he should have informed her privately that she was mistaken and that this operation was a horrible choice, but she disagrees since his life still has meaning. He believes they should let Harvey enjoy his remaining time. Lim hunts down Nurse Petringa, telling her that if she hires more people, they would lose hours and overtime. The problem isn't the personnel, it's the bad job. She buys items that will make the hard work easier and the nurses are pleased. Ruby tells Morgan that her sister had had radiation and chemo which completely destroyed her. Ruby is sitting next to Morgan. Without understanding what is happening to him, Morgan wants her to understand how Harvey would feel. Every day he is informed that he has cancer. His body is failing, his life will end, and there is nothing more doctors can do. She acknowledges that throughout their 45 years of dating, she has never lied to him. He hasn't changed, and what she owes him hasn't either. He is still the same guy she has always loved. Suzanne hasn't changed, but Sean is curious as to why they are waiting, since they must decide what information they want to know. According to Suzanne, her new spouse ought to be thinking about finding someone else to fall in love with. He thinks it will be a lot simpler for him than for her. She believes she will experience whatever she is going to experience, but he has a choice. She is reminded that he committed to her in sickness and in health that same morning. As a full team works to remove the malignancy from all of her organs, he kisses her hand and Suzanne enters surgery. As Sean and Carly depart the restaurant, he is able to move the woman's shoulder. Claire is curious about how the date went, if he caught the wine, repaired the woman's shoulder, and Carly laughed at his joke. Sean observes something unusual in Suzanne's small intestines, and Melendez instructs Claire to investigate. Meanwhile, Lim goes to Andrew's house, stating she wants to do him a favor and return to St. Bonaventure as an attendant to take her position. She believes it is something he requires, but he warns her not to defraud a con man. She rings the doorbell, but she warns him that his greatest strength and weakness was his stubbornness, which he must not allow to be his weakness today. Harvey complains that his left side hurts, and Morgan explains that he had a biopsy there. Everyone is quiet, so he asks Ruby, claiming that he cannot die. Ruby informs him that they did not locate stones and that everything is okay since he must care for her. Alex and Morgan exchange glances as the pair embraces. Carly is escorted home by Sean, who tells her she had a good time. Before stepping up the steps, she leans in and kisses him on the lips. Melendez, Morgan, Alex, and everyone else are curious about where the accident occurred. According to Sean, it was tiresome and out of control. There was too much to remember to do and not do, and none of it made sense. It was difficult and unpleasant, and he spent the entire evening doing strange things to make her happy, and he has no clue if she was satisfied. All Sean knows is that he wasn't pleased. Everything was a mess. Lim enters the room and introduces them to their new attending, Andrews, who steps in behind her. Allegra arrives at Glassman's clinic and confronts him about his dissatisfaction with his job. She wants him to return to the hospital clinic and serve as president, 
His only worry is if he must wear a tie. Claire visits Suzanne to let her know the operation went extremely well and that she is certain they removed all the cancer. There were issues and she will always need to use a bag outside of her body to use the restroom. Her husband claims they can teach both of them. Harvey is being brought out of the hospital while Ruby walks with him. Every date is a catastrophe, says Claire, which is why they date. Every relationship is out of your hands, but if you stay with it, you'll find someone who will support you whenever you need it, be with you no matter what, and love you even when you don't feel worthy. It's not worth it, according to Sean. When her mother phones, Claire picks up before Alex hangs up to pick up his kid from the airport. Sean waits outside the lab to monitor Carly as Morgan visits her grandfather, but he leaves before she can see him. The end. Thank you for watching, and please subscribe to Lion Recaps if you'd like to see more videos like this. Turn on the notifications and leave a like to help the channel out.